hello guys yes shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you how to make yummy bottle goat curry with chickpea lentils it's a very easy and simple recipe but super delicious to eat it's so yummy with roti chapati and boiled rice as well and this is a very famous and very popular dish in india so guys let's see the recipe at first, I have taken 1 cup of chickpea lentils and I soak them for about 4 hours. You may soak them for overnight, there is no problem if you have time, but 3 to 4 hours are minimum. And after soaking, I wash them properly and now we need to pressure cook them. So we need a pressure cooker. I am taking a small size pressure cooker, uh, one and a half liter pressure cooker and now I am adding the lentils into the pressure cooker and after that we need to add some water we soaked the lentils previously so we don't need so much water we need about double quantity of water of the quantity of lentils so after adding water we need to add some salt a little quantity of salt and a very little quantity of turmeric powder i'm mixing it a little and after that we need to pressure cook the lentils so we need to cover the lid with the whistle and now i'm going to cook it on medium heat until two to three whistles are coming the heat should be on medium all the time so let's put it to cook and in the meantime we need to arrange all the things so i have cut the bottle gourd as you can see it was a very tender and small size bottle gourd so i didn't peel it off but if it is big you should peel it off and after that you should wash it before cutting don't wash it after cutting and here I have taken a big size onion finely chopped, a big size tomato finely chopped. You may use tomato puree instead if you like. And here I have taken about 1 tablespoon full of crushed ginger garlic but you may take the paste there is no problem. So here are the things we need to arrange and the rest of the things are available in our kitchen. So let's go. At first we need to add some cooking oil in the pan. The heat is on medium now. So after the oil is heated well, we need to add some tadka. I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, 2 to 3 bay leaves. I am tearing them middle wise, 2 to 3 dry red chilies and 1 pinch of asafoetida. that means hing. We need to let the cumin seeds crackle well and after that we need to add the onions here. So I am adding the onions, we need a transparent or a light brown color of the onions and after that we need to add the ginger garlic paste or crush. So I am adding the crushed ginger garlic, after adding ginger garlic we need to wait for some time and we need to stir it continuously until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone and after that we need to add the tomatoes. After adding tomatoes we need to add some salt according to taste. I am mixing a little and after that I am going to add some powder spices. So at first I am adding some turmeric powder, 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, red chilli powder according to taste, 1 teaspoon of kanda lasun masala. It's a Maharashtrian spices mixture. If you don't have it then skip it there is no problem. And now I am adding about 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri lal mirch powder that means paprika powder for a brighter color and half teaspoon of garam masala. Now I'm mixing everything well. I think it's dry so I'm adding some water so that the spices may not burn from the bottom. I think a little more water is needed. So I'm adding a little more water and after that I'm mixing everything very well again. And after mixing well, we need to cover the pan for some time on medium to low heat until the tomatoes are nicely soft and oil is released from the spices mixture. In between we need to uncover the pan and stir the mixture nicely. After about 5 to 6 minutes on medium to low heat, this is the texture of the spices mixture. Now I am adding the bottle gourd in the mixture. We need to mix everything well and after that I am going to cover the pan again for another some time. So I have covered the pan and after about 3 to 4 minutes, the spices are cooked very well and some more water is released from the bottle gourd. So now I am going to add some more water to cook the bottle gourd before adding the lentils. We don't need so much water. I am adding a very little quantity of water to cook the bottle gourd. And uh, after mixing everything well, we need to cover the pan for some time until the bottle gourd is cooked about uh, 70 to 80 percent. In the meantime, our lentils are cooked very well. I am checking them. So, 
so you can see guys that the lentils are cooked very well i'm keeping it aside and checking the bottle good so guys now the veggies are almost cooked they are cooked about 70 to 80 percent and now it's time to add the cooked lentils into the curry so i'm adding it if you cook your bottle gourd without pressure cooker it will taste really wonderful so try the process like me i'm adding the lentils into the curry and i'm adding the water as well i'm not throwing it away and you may add some more water if needed but now i don't need any excess water so after adding the lentils we need to cook the curry until the veggies are cooked 100 percent so i'm covering the pan for some time and after about five to six minutes our veggies are cooked very nicely and now i'm going to check the salt if more salt is needed so i'm adding some more salt and after that i'm adding some garam masala again and along with this add some fresh coriander leaves if available but i didn't have them so i'm skipping them after adding garam masala i cook the curry for about one minute again and after that our curry is ready i'm turning the heat off and serving the curry hot you may serve it with roti chapati or boiled rice it's really so yummy and delicious with them so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care